All Submission Grappling 3 here at Tudor Hall in Ottawa. PJ St. Marie here with you, uh, as well as Jordan Pressinger of Jordan Teaches Jiu-Jitsu. We've got our co-main event of the evening, Black Belt Gi match for the ASG Championship. And it's going to be an exciting one. Yeah, I'm super excited for this one. Darren is like my main training partner and one of my best friends. So, um, yeah, no, not going to be biased in this commentary. I'm going to try not to be. And Peter Fazekas of New Era, hometown guy here and uh, great competitor. Yeah, one issue Darren has going to this match is his, his neck is really messed up. He still wanted to do the match, didn't want to pull out. But um, yeah, it would have been better if he was at 100%. He's been just taking painkillers, muscle relaxers. And Peter, I think Peter heard you. He's immediately going for like a triangle there. Looks like he's about to try and take the back, flatten him out. He's got a body lock and going right this is for worst case scenario for yeah. Darren. Going right for, now he's into a mount position here. Darren is very hard to submit though. I think Darren's going to try to push out the armpits with his feet, which might not be a great idea when he has a neck injury. But oh, but there he goes for it, yeah. Exactly. He does this to me all the time. Sometimes with adrenaline, you forget about your injuries and stuff. But exactly. He's going to watch his arms. Peter's doing like a high climb there, move to S mount, or sorry, knee on belly. But Darren's doing a good job not exposing his arms there, not giving Peter the easy arm bar from knee on belly. Exactly. Like I said, Darren is very hard to submit. He's he's great everywhere, but like one of his main attributes is very hard to submit. Yeah, again, sucks that his neck hurts. It's that cross face can't feel good right now. And yeah, Peter's doing a great job, um, you know, stabilizing and, and side control and not letting not letting Darren have any space. And Darren's doing a good job. Like, so he's, he stayed so calm that Peter had mount. He even had like a high up kind of arm bar set up. And now it's almost like he's got back to half guard. He's yeah. going to try and pin that leg and smash his hips now here. Yeah, exactly. It's like Peter's going to dope mount. But Darren does a good job getting his shin in there. Staying nice, calm. Knows it's a 10 minute match. What's going to happen? Wait for his, his openings. Exactly. Sub only. So, you know. That's what really matters as opposed to, you know, the positions themselves. Mm -hmm. And Darren's got a really good collar and sleeve guard. So if you can make some space and start working towards a collar and sleeve, um, things will start going a little better for him than being here in the smash type of position. And Peter's doing a great job keeping his hips low. Got a nice strong underhook on him. Darren's reaching, grabbing the belts. I'm not sure what his plan is because he doesn't want to, you know, Expose his arm too much. Peter's in this uh, modified dope mount, it looks like here, but now he's going to use this to try and step to mount, but Darren's doing a good job out, uh, inverting. Could go for a leg attack here. Right, now he's back into guard. He's back into full butterfly guard. Great, great regard there. And Darren's got a really good... Oh. Well, the crowd's definitely on Pete's side. Oh, well, that's what happens when yeah, you own the gym here in yeah. Ottawa. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Pete, very tight with his side control, not leaving any space for Darren. Mm -hmm. That knee underneath the legs like that just like makes it so hard to get space. And like P Peter's even doing a really good job hiding his ankle because that might be the one thing that might be exposed in a situation like this. Yeah. And exactly. Well, now Darren has a little bit better of uh, frames. Let's see if he can, you know, make some space with a nice big bump and shrimp. So we're a little bit before halfway of this matchup. Yeah, Peter is staying so so heavy. Yeah, 
little bit of a chess match going on here. Neither one wants to open up and give a position away that. Yeah, neither one rushing at all. Looks like Pete's setting up a little pell choke of some sort. Or maybe just using it for control. Yeah. It's hard to tell from the angle we have. Yeah, exactly. And just a great way of taking a cross face where you use more of like your forearm, more so than your bicep. You can kind of get them to turn, maybe take their back. Oh. Yeah, I think he just kind of rushed it a little bit there. He likes that arm bar from the close side on the belly. Most people go for the far arm bar, but I've only gotten to train with Peter a few times, and both times he hit me with that arm bar. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh. So now he's got the collar and sleeve. That's exactly where Darren wants to be. So let's see if he can use this. The resets, again, like these resets are sometimes not the best. Maybe it doesn't work out for Darren, but resetting, retying the belt gives him a little bit. Maybe gives Peter a little bit more energy, but. You want that momentum of getting into that position. Yeah, 100%. Because maybe Darren can take, you know, better grips at this point during the reset. You know, that's just the problem with resets is sometimes one person gets the better of it than the other. So Darren's got like a left-sided uh, collar and sleeve where he's, he's right-handed, so it might be difficult to use that. Yeah, he's going to go for the triangle, 100%. But Pete's keeping his knee in there to prevent that. So Darren wants to be in the bottom. So I don't know he's coming up, though. Now see if he can work his passing. Someone said he's tired, but I wonder which competitor they're talking about. I don't think I've ever been retired. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. I think they're probably equally... Uh, Equally tired, or equally fresh. I always find when you get to high level stuff, maybe someone looks tired, but there's they've been doing this so long. These black belts been training for over ten years. They may look tired, but they can keep going. Exactly. I think more so they just kind of slowed down and settled into it more so than actually you know being tired. You're going for that high guard again. Yeah, we've seen that a lot tonight. Just because it's such a successful position to be in, like, you know, if you can go to high guard, you, you control the upper body, which is what you want to submit, like triangles, arm bars, all that type of stuff. I wonder if Darren's going to put his knee in there. Oh, good job from Pete. Yeah, Darren would want to smash Pete's leg down there because Pete's got that frame. See if he attacks another triangle. He had success with it earlier. Darren doing some Toriano passing, but drops back down to his knees. Peter doing a good job elevating him, getting his weight off his hips to get that sweep. <clears throat> Two and a half minutes left in this first 10 minutes and then a potential overtime and then it all comes down to the overtime so you know nothing in this portion of the match will matter which you know i kind of think it'd be better if the whole thing was if it was scored as a whole i think it benefits darren it being only the overtime because peter definitely had the more dominant positions in the regulation time Yeah, Peter, Peter definitely puts on the pressure. Very tight top game. Darren's doing a really good job getting his frames. He's just not, not letting Peter move forward in his game plan. Uh, looks like Darren might be attacking Kimura. No, not anymore. Grabbing the belt instead. Now, do you think he's going to try and go for like a little elevation sweep here or yeah, I think he, to take the back? I think he might try to get his right butterfly hook in, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah, he went for it. Yeah. Peter immediately notices that a butterfly hook's dangerous, so he's trying to stop it. But he's yeah. climbed up. He might be able to lift him now. So yeah, I think Darren should look towards getting the underhook. One minute left in the... All right, let's make some noise. Last minute to go. Oh, 
I don't think we're going to see too much motion here because they know that there's going to be an overtime. So do you expend all your energy right now and try and get a finish before the overtime or just save it for the two minutes where it doesn't matter what happened in the first 10, it's just about those two? Well, at the same time, maybe it's like make the guy work even more right now and then they, they go into it more tired, but yeah, the risk is you can become more tired too. So a lot of game planning goes into these type of rule sets. To me, it looks a little bit like Pete's getting tired, but you know, I could be wrong. It just he looks less active than he was earlier. But I mean, it's a ten-minute match, so how can you not be tired? You know, going against another skilled black belt. And he uh, he did look at the clock, which just, could just mean he's just looking to see where he's sitting with time if he should try a sweep or anything like that. But yeah, I think this overtime is going to come down to who has the better tactics to actually, you know, game the game the format of it. You know, make sure that you get in the more dominant positions or attack more. Oh, this is getting exciting. So Peter, because he was able to grab the sleeve, was able to pull guard. So now he spent most of the match fighting up top, and that was his game plan. And then starting overtime, he pulls guard, which is really interesting. See if Darren can stay up. <laughs> Because I think if Pete gets the sweep, then he gets the he gets the decision. Yeah. But if Darren really threatens the pass and doesn't get the sweep, then maybe he gets the decision. It's such a tough thing. Because again, it's not you're not they're not supposed to factor in the regulation time. You're getting over oh, getting that butterfly. That's a good job getting that elevation. Yeah, that could that could get him the win right there. Darren's got to even it up. They're looking to set up a triangle. Roma fought out some sort. Yeah. Now, I don't think that was a close enough submission attempt to win over the judges from, from that sweep. From that sweep, especially, you know. Hometown yeah. plays a factor as much as you don't like to think about it. But uh, but if Darren can secure this sweep here, that's, that, that'll definitely help him. Exactly. Right. Excellent job elevating. We'll just... He's got to go now. He's got to go for that sweep. Yeah, but Peter's doing a job keeping his hips down. 25 seconds. It's, it still could be anybody's match, right? Like, I wouldn't be too confident here. He's definitely got to get something going. Yeah. Use that elbow type sweep. Get yeah. on top. There and use that, that straight arm lock. He's got to attack something, attack triangle, whatever. <laughs> 10 seconds, yeah. Darren, Darren definitely trying to get the finish here of some sort, get a sweep. Or... Yeah, I'd say Peter's got this. All right, now we shoot by Justin's decision, the winner and new ASG welterweight champion, Peter, the